there's eight times the power in two human legs than there is in one arm. I mean, imagine the possibility of you walking down to the store on your hands or walking down the store in your legs. Where's the power? So if you really want to get into processing food around the world efficiently, the hand doesn't do it. If you want to get into competition with the quarter horse motor, you can basically, and wherever the quarter horse motor is, um, you know, two human legs are about half the power of that. So you can quite easily avoid the grid just by using human legs. And when you go into places like Africa and the Philippines, there are people everywhere. I mean, what they have in huge surplus is people. So the idea that all these people are standing around idly and uh, doing nothing while you're trying to figure out how you can get an electrical grid in so they can start processing their food is nonsense. I noticed when we were in the Philippines, we were just there and people were sh using this machine and shelling hour after hour and I thought, boy, these people are, these people have tough legs, they got a lot of energy. Well, after a full day of pedaling this machine, they then got on their bicycles and rode five miles into town. So that kind of explains that whole thing. But if you can, if you can harness the human legs, then you've basically got the food processing problem solved. Uh, you don't need fossil fuels, you don't need solar panels, you don't need anything. You just need two pedals and a couple flip-flops and a glass of water.